Welcome to the complete collection of Kevin Garnett's greatest stories. Now this series has started off with two episodes so far, Kobe Bryant and Larry Bird. Welcome to the third episode of this series. If you missed the first two episodes, don't worry, there's a playlist on the channel where you can watch the first two episodes. You guys have shown so much support in this series and I really just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It's been a pleasure creating this series so far and I'm absolutely loving it. A lot of editing has gone involved into this series because obviously there's a lot of interviews to go through, a lot of podcasts, a lot of clips, finding the game highlights and piecing it up all together. So if you would like to help me out and help the channel out, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like for the next episode and comment down below which player you would like to see this series continue on with. Also, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you around. And if you'd like to hit that notification button so you never miss an episode of this series, feel free. You may notice there is a few clips in this video those have been taken off videos that I've previously done on the channel, so if you've already seen them, you can feel free to skip them, but obviously they're great stories, and it was a complete collection, so I had to include them in this video. Without further ado, here's the complete collection of Kevin Garnett's greatest stories. Kevin Garnett is crazy. We didn't give a fuck about LeBron. We didn't fear LeBron, and we didn't think that he can beat all five of us. And that's how it felt. You said something, and I was just like, oh, it's just like, no English. <laughs> no, no English, mate, sorry. Hell no! Trash Yo, first of all, <laughs> I play with KG, too. <laughs> There's no, Most there's of no those one. things can't go on TV. Right. What? <laughs> some, of them, some of them can't be told on TV. No, That's those are the ones we want, though. You know, me and him had, had some MF days mm -hmm. uh, because I would try to take him out of practice. You know, he used to mumble you know, crazy stuff like, All Warriors, the time. Don't, Warriors don't come out of practice. Warriors don't come out of practice. I was like, all right, Warrior, well, well, you just got to sit down right now. Uh, <laughs> ball fight. Tonight was a ball fight, man. We knew that was gonna come in with a lot of energy. Tonight was a ball fight. You ever been in the ball fight? Hey, that's KG. K hey, KG walk on the court. The first, his first hey. five minutes, he, he talking to himself. Come on, motherfucker. Let's go, yeah. motherfucker. Like, yeah. like, he talking to himself the whole time, dog. My going into my rookie season, um, I didn't, you know, it was my first time being on an NBA charter flight. You know, I got on the plane early, didn't want to be late. The stewardess asked me if I wanted crab cakes. I said, for sure, you know, who, who doesn't like a good crab cake? So I started eating. Then the older guys came on after. Uh, KG didn't like that I had ordered my food before those guys. So he, he grabbed my cab, crab cake, gave it to Reggie Evans. And then he asked me to, well, he didn't ask me. He told me to serve the rest of the team until we were ready to take off. So. <laughs> You know, the stewardess got a, got a day off that day, but uh, I learned to let the vets eat first. I was the only guy on my team under 25. I didn't have anybody backing me up. Sometimes you gotta know their strength in numbers and those vets stick together. Before the Cleveland game won, I kept saying the word 20. I said, so 20, and the word is 20. And I kept saying 20. And everybody was looking at me, Kevin Garnett has to take 20 shots, mm. 20 shots, has 20. To. I said it like 19 times. It came to a point where we used to have to tell KG, hey, if you pass the ball out of the post again, it's going to be a problem. Go to work like he was that unselfish. Mm. And finally, the whole team started joining in, 20, 20. And Kevin was <laughs> pissed because he was <laughs> such a team player. I would call a timeout and say, and yell at KG, say, I said, move the ball. Uh, and he said, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I said, no, no, we're saying move it to you so you can shoot it, not so you can pass it. Uh, but Kevin was so <laughs> unselfish uh, as a player. You, you, There were many times that uh, I had to give him a number before the game as far as you have to take this many shots mm -hmm. for us to win. Uh, he's the only guy I've ever had to do that to. And I used to tell him, you know, Kevin, sometimes we're moving the ball to you. Right, that's the point. <laughs> you know, we, we don't want you to pass it once it hits you. Right. You know, but uh, he was great. Somehow in 2010, we were going around and everyone was having arm wrestling contests. And Glenn, Big Baby Davis, uh -huh. was crushing everybody. Uh -huh. I mean, 
Big Baby Davis is incredibly strong. He's a big boy. He's not and, a baby. And, and so he was crushing everybody. In the middle of a card game, KG stands up and like, hey, folk, sit down, we about to arm wrestle. <laughs> and one by one, whoever uh, took on Big Baby Davis, they lost. Until we got on the plane, 35,000 feet up in the air, Big Baby, KG, they sit down. We're all thinking, KG's done. There's no way. Uh -huh. And on the go, no one moves. So you know what I'm thinking right away? Like, I just saw Big Baby mow down the whole team. Like, it was easy. So I'm thinking, this is going to be the moment. This is going to be the one moment where Kevin Garnett loses. This is going to be the moment where, like, we're going to see his ego hurt. And, I mean, I, I, I was, like, convinced. And Big Baby's trying his hardest. And Kevin said, I'm not moving. And there's a, a little bit of profanity in there, but uh -huh. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. And he just started sweating. Just start, I mean, just started talking about, I ain't moving, I ain't moving. And he just sat there. I'm not moving. Big Baby. <sighs> and about a minute and 30 goes by. Big Baby, his shoulder starts to fatigue out. And Garnett starts going, going, and slams Big Baby down. And he won, and he stood up. He turned around. Uh, white Peter on sweat. It's like I'm the super back gorilla in this motherfucker. Don't y'all ever forget it. <laughs> Don't you guys ever forget it. Now there was some profanity. Yeah, in there. he, he there probably didn't say spit. in this thing. He probably said in this. <laughs> <laughs> there was sweat coming down. <laughs> but the thing is, what it proves is Garnett. Against all odds, because Big Baby should have won that arm wrestling contest. Against all odds, he's going to compete at the highest level and figure out a way. To me, at 35,000 feet, seeing mm -hmm. KG sweat profusely and spit all over kids on the plane, <laughs> that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Hey, out of, <laughs> out of the people you named, you know, uh, KG, Duncan, Weber, Rasheed, Dirk, who was your toughest personal battle? Mm. Oh, KG by far. Mm. It's not even close. Because, like, I, he was my mm. idol. And so early on, I want to say in my second year, I had a good game against him. The very next game, he would grab me. And I had never experienced someone so strong before. Man, he's going to talk big shit to you, too. Oh, the man, time. dude. The I had to get game. over it, man. I had, to, I had to get over it. I had to, like, you know, go to the temple and, like, do some meditation, bro. <laughs> he got me one time so good, bro, in a game. And I had a terrible game, too. He called me a mama's boy. <laughs> oh my god and this is on top of the, forget all the curse words you know mf and back and forth he said wait wait i mean you a woman you a mama's boy and i was like "Ooh!" and my my bro my mind was gone he didn't score in that four here it is again look at look at look at Garnett up under him see chris bosh you got to swing the ball through one time. And, and I let him, I'm like, man, who, man, who are you talking to, bro? And that woke him up and shut me mm. down. I probably, I probably scored five points. I got uh, dominated and embarrassed. I was just like, <laughs> bro, I'm, mm. I'm in my seat. I'm in my bed. Just can't sleep. Just like, what the fuck you mean, mama's boy? I ain't no damn mama's boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ever since that day, I said, nah, I'm okay. I'm not no trash talk. I can't even. I'm trying to think of comebacks, and the game's still going. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say this to him. Like, Yo, you got on five, bro. <laughs> One thing we should mention if we're bringing up KG, I know I told you this story, but it's great for TV, right? Remember when you came to Boston and you were blitzing us in the first half? I mean, you were torching us in the first half. So, anyways... And I got Ginobili this night. Perkins has Duncan. And so, you know, we surrounded the game plan around stopping Ginobili. And so we look up. I think we're down like six at the half. And, and Kevin has Matt Bonner. Matt Bonner has 20 points at the half. Ray shooters in the league. He had nine points in the first quarter, but he was not the star of the first half. It was New Hampshire native Matt Bonner. Brought a couple of busloads worth of friends and family down from New Hampshire to watch him go to work, and Matt Bonner was out of his gourd. I'm happy for my former teammate, the Red Rocket. <laughs> and so I'm walking down the hallway, going to the locker room halftime, and I'm like, who the hell got Matt Bonner? Paul Pierce sits right next to KG, and Paul is the greatest at knowing how to, like, poke the bear, right? Knowing that KG has <laughs> right? it, and I'm yelling at him, I'm yelling out, I'm, and I'm like, I'm doing all this work to stop Ginobili. Matt Bonner got 20. 
So Paul Pierce stands up at halftime before the coaches came in. It's like, hey, man, who has Matt Bonner? And he knew Garnett had Matt Bonner, right? So who's got Bonner? Someone's got to step up and take Bonner. Big Baby, you going to step up and take Bonner? Scal, you going to step up and take Bonner? By the way, his best friend on the team is getting blitzed by you, right? <laughs> All of a sudden, KG has a water bottle with the cap on. And he was so furious, he squeezed the water bottle, and the cap flew off and water. <laughs> it took me, I've had, you know, like all the willpower in the world not to fall on the floor crying that this thing is happening right now. But that, that was just an unbelievable story. He gave me like three F bonds. You know who got <laughs> Matt Bonner. You know why he got 20? Because I'm out here helping out Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and we went face to face. Right. And I was like, all right, then we'll guard him then. But what I remember is in the second or in the second half, coming out of halftime, I, I check into the game and KG's eyes light up. He starts like <laughs> foaming at the mouth. I, I that we inbound the I inbound the side inbound the ball and I start running up the court and he picks me up full court. Me. Picks me up full court, does the old like camp of champions slap the ground, defense. <laughs> He's like right in my face, like snarling. And I'm like, oh my God, I did the third quarter. I just checked in. Please don't kill me. So I, now I know why. What is your most memorable <laughs> trash talk moment? Well, not mine, but my most memorable is my big brother, my teammate, Kevin Garnett. Oh, right. <laughs> so I remember it's game six when the uh, no, actually, it's game seven. Another semi crowd in Boston. These fans have cheered their team on to a perfect 7 0 playoff record. And they're trying to make it another one to advance them to the conference finals. Kevin Garnett. And the Boston Celtics all tied up with LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Three games apiece. We played against the Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James in 2008. Jay-Z and Beyonce sitting on the sideline, and KG gets a rebound. He goes to the free throw line. He get, I mean, he gets fouled. He goes to the free throw line. He's huffing and puffing. He's talking noise to Braun. He's telling Braun, it's no, ain't no rock in the building tonight. I'm the only rock in here today. And I'm like, what did you come up with that? Did you <laughs> rehearse that last night? Like, I, I, I just didn't understand. Like, he had the best punchlines. I'm like, oh, you had the crib rehearsing that, dog? All right, Thank here we you. go. Ready? Because you have famous beef with Joe Kim Noah. I don't have any beef with anybody. He's beefless. He, have can you tell us your first interaction with Joe Kim Noah? Listen, I don't have any uh, interaction. We don't I, have I, interaction. I, I, I don't have interaction. I'll handle I'll this, Kevin. Yeah, he no. does not need to. Let's go. That's the end of the interview. You know, we're here competing. I'm not well, going to give you anything. The end of the story was Joe Kim Noah's like, I, you were my idol growing up, and Kevin just turned to him and said, fuck you, Noah. <laughs> no, he asked me, real shit. He asked me, he asked me the move I just gave him. Uh -huh. Nigga, figure it out. Well, <laughs> shit. Get out of here. AG gave him us. Uh, he he kind of backed him, backed him, turned around a pump fake step side. He shot the ball from the baseline. And it was a it was a move I seen Kev work on a lot. And next time down the floor, Joachim Noah said, he's like, big fella, that was that was, you know, that was a great move. How did you how did you, I need you to teach me that. And he was like, KG was like, man, get off my dick. Hey, fuck, hey, fuck, I I like. I fuck I look like. Fuck I look like, man. Get that out of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ready to run you got a bulls right radio. now, he gets mad. Cool. <laughs> uh, all right, so tell us your side of that story. Nah, I'm going to tell you straight up. KG was, um, first of all, I, I just don't understand how, I don't think he remembers because I think the story meant a lot more to me than it did to him. Right. What's t what sucks is that when I was growing up, I used to have his poster in my room. I used to wear his jersey. <laughs> and the truth is, you know, my rookie year, you know, I was, you know, in admiration of this guy. And, and you know, he kind of shut me down. And, you know, he was very mean to me my rookie year. <laughs> he was like, true, Kevin, true, I, uh, I had posters <laughs> of you in, when I was growing Listen, up. Listen, it's a time and place for everything. You don't ask someone during a game or during competition to, no, no, that, not, not me. You don't ask me anything during competition. I'm not, 
I can't. You can't focused. Right. Yeah. You know, we're here competing. I'm not well, going to give you anything. The end of the story was Joe Kim Noah was like, I, "You were my idol growing up," and Kevin just turned to him and said, "Fuck you, Noah." I had KG posters in my wall. I had a fucking KG uh, jersey growing up. So the tr this is the story. This is what happened. The first time I play KG, I'm hype as hell. Like we're playing the Celtics. I'm on the Bulls, and I think they're up like 30 points. And I'm in the game like it's it's like th the last seconds. Like nobody gives a shit. So we're at the free throw line, and uh, he used to work out with this guy called Joe Abunasar, and I was working out with him for for pre-draft. So I was always excited. I was always hoping like KG would walk in the gym, and you know, I was I would be able to like work out with him. And I remember asking him a question about, yo, you like, you going you gonna work out with, with Joe? This, I was just trying to be cool. Like, I was just wanted to be, I just wanted to say something to my idol. And he just like looked over and he was like, yo, like, who, who the fuck are you talking to? Like, <laughs> who the fuck you think you talking to? And then like, when he said that, I was like, oh shit, like, <laughs> I shouldn't have. And then, like, I kind of fell back, knowing that I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have said that. Like, not, not during the game, right? You know. And then I didn't say anything. And then when I didn't say anything, I guess he thought I was a fucking. I guess he thought I was pussy or something because he was like, he kept like getting like louder and sh louder. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, and then from that, from that moment on, I swear to God, I was like, yo, I'm going at him every single time we play. We are going at it. Every single time we play, we are going at it. And he's only mean to the young guys and the Euros for some reason. <laughs> you know, I don't know why, but he's that's who he doesn't like. So. And Charlie Villanueva, <laughs> too. I mean, what was that all about? Did you guys catch the Villanueva story? Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's just not nice stuff to say, you know? Any team KG was on was always a, 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 big, uh, a big game. Let me, hey, hey, dog, listen, KG, KG used to, like, he had more antics, dog, Tim. I don't know, like, maybe because you guys were about the same size, like, he didn't do that shit to you. I don't know. But, like, he talked the most shit. And, like, I remember one time he hit me with, like, a bow, like, to see what I was going to do. Like, you know what I mean? Just trying to kind of, like, punk you a little bit. And so yeah. the next time I came down, I fired one right in his ribs. And he looked at me like, he left me alone after that. But like that. what, yeah. that's who he is, right? Like that's what he tried to do. Like, he oh, said funny. that you he said that you it would frustrate him the most that he would talk all his shit, but she would smile and say, like, good job and stuff. Like that would piss him off the most. Mm. Tim Duncan, Timmy. people would not see him verbally saying stuff because he wouldn't talk in sentences. <laughs> Preach. Tim, Tim, Timmy would hit you in phrases. Got you. Mm. Almost. <laughs> this the worst right here. Nice try. <laughs> like subtle shit. No gangster shit. No real hardcore shit. Just to subtly to just back your ass up and put you back in like this over here. Why would you never engage in trash talk, Tim? Uh, with him, because that's what he wanted. Okay. That's what he wanted. He want he wanted to, to to get you outside of yourself. He wanted to 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 piss you off and kind of control the situation. Like you know, uh, and then what really, what really, what really, really, really pissed me off was when the trash talking wasn't affecting him. So now you spending all this energy trying to rile this up. You know, forgot about your own game. You forgot about <laughs> they coming to you that you are supposed to. And then that's when I actually went, quit talking trash to Timmy because he wouldn't respond or he wasn't giving me the reaction I was giving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's more, my more thing is just like kind of poke there, just kind of kind of poke him a little bit and bro piss him off a little bit, and then they react and poke him again. I can't get really get hype off. This thing ain't really giving me nothing. Look at now, you know, start, you know, doing a little, you know, the shoulder shit, and he won't react to that. Yeah. Next thing you know, Timmy got 20, 20, 15, Like I'm here, like. <laughs> so then I started changing that. So what's the real story on okay, that so story? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm clear this up for the world right here. I want you to tell the story with you and KG, the big ticket story. I'm a rookie, and it's kind of like the first day everybody's coming back and they're getting acclimated, and, you know, they playing pickup. Everybody's working out and stuff like that. So we have a pickup game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's the four, and I'm the four. So 
I get the ball at the wing, and I shoot it. Like, I shoot it. And I, I tell myself, I tell myself, I'm talking to myself, though. Get up. Get it up. <laughs> he he turned, look like, that little motherfucker, you talking shit? <laughs> First, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm really aware with crazy stuff like that. Like right. so I'm like, I ain't talking shit to you. I'm talking to myself, big fella. Like I ain't at you. He was like, I, and then I was like, I'm just trying to get my little swag, bro. Yeah. He say, fuck your swag. <laughs> <laughs> then you know the other side of me was like, <laughs> okay, well fuck your swag. Yeah. And I'm literally like, yo, fuck your swag. <laughs> yeah, I'm right running back. He's like, all right, shit, shit, all right. Shh. You know how he born. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing f- like a fool. <laughs> yeah, okay, this bitch is. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Like, Already, you know. That's how you say it. So, you know me. I'm like, all right. Like, this is what I got to do to <laughs> get on. You come out. <laughs> <laughs> right. but me being a rookie, the next day, I'm thinking, like, I'm in there early. Ticket walk right by me. I'm like, what's up, ticket? He just walk. <laughs> <laughs> like he ain't even see me. Like he ain't want to talk to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. No acknowledgement. You Bro, saying what's up? That crushed me. Yeah. I gotta make this right. Yeah. <laughs> like so, you know, I walked up to him and I was like, "Bro, did I do something wrong to you?" You know, yesterday I thought that stayed on the court. If I did, I apologize. And he looked at me and he was like, "You know what, young and I fuck with you." And after that, we was locked in. Garnett doesn't mince words, and sometimes it's tough. And now Davis down at the end with a towel on his head. Garnett didn't want to come back in the game, but he's had to because what was a 25-point lead is now 13. Funk was just frustrated, and he was in a moment to where we all felt he needed a second. So, you know, he went to the end of the bench and, you know, he cried and had a moment with himself. But I'm going to roll with a guy who's going to show me his heart and wear his heart on his sleeve and going to play with passion over anything. I saw him play Austin Rivers when he was like a junior in high school. Right. He got like a bucket on ticket. No, no, no. Let me tell the story. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, so crazy we come in the, so we come in. So we come in to practice probably two hours early. Everybody's in there. So we got practice. I'm saying 10. Everybody's in there about 830. So in there, Austin Rivers is seeing his father. You know, they used to come up and visit his dad because his dad, they were still living in Florida. Imagine he juiced up too. Man, he juiced up, <laughs> this man. Kid Every guy's up. coming here. He's <laughs> feeling himself. He had the little joint. So he playing one-on-one with, with Paul. So then, you know, I see him and Paul. Because Paul play ones in the morning just to get himself going before practice. So he's, you know, playing ones. And he's giving Paul some good work, you know. Then Perk, like, hold on, let me get some of this. I got to get some of this because he's the stopper. Everybody, if you want to see where your game is, you play Perk one on one, right? Up. Perk ain't going for no pump fakes. He's just real sound. Man, he giving Perk the business. <laughs> Austin so, Rivers. Yeah, man, got I come him. in here. So I'm like, I came in here and, um, you know, he's playing guys to five. He's, I think he mops. I think he, uh, uh, I think he beat play and then he mopped uh, Perk 5 0 and, you know, can't, yeah, can't go to court. Like, wow. so he came in, I had my shoelaces <laughs> unlined. And I came in from the weight room and he rolled the ball. And I said, What? And I looked at it, hit my toes. I said, What? He said, Check. <laughs> I oh. said, Check. Yeah, that. Everybody like, Ooh. And, and then, they, you know, I'm a dragon, bro. I'm a dragon. And I know this is, I know your dad, the coach, so I got to be real careful on how I let this dragon out. <laughs> this is a kid. This is a high school kid. Got a lot of confidence, but I'm a dragon. Throw the ball to me, so <laughs> calm and collective. I just, you know, kick the ball to him. I walk back. He says, "Check." And I went on the other side of the check. You know, when you check, you on the bottom. So I got on the top. I said, "You're a kid. What you mean? You check. Get the ball. Like I, you don't get the ball yeah, first." Yeah, he was. He was on him. So I tripped around and gave him the ball, and my shoes was untied. And he shot the first one and missed it. Matter of fact, he made it. He made We're going it. to five. He made the five. It. Boom. He made it. I said, hold on. Off the cross I, saw, I saw off the over. Matter of fact, he dunked it. Remember he dunked it? And the ball went all in. And I went like this. I said, hold on. And I tied my shoe. And I heard P say, yeah. I heard him and T.A. say, yeah, yeah. tie them shoes, tie killer. Them shoes. <laughs> and that's when the dragon came out. And I, and I just, I, I mopped him 5-1. Five, one, five, but one. I had to go <laughs> dragon. He had so much swag that I was like, Man, do I spit fire on him? When I saw how hard he dunked it, I oh, know this kid's shit. Let me tie these up. I tied up and I went five straight. But I, I tapped him, keep working on your game. He was hot. 
yeah. through the ball. Yeah. Man, yeah. Rose was yeah. scrap. He was hot. And, and Damn, threw him out. Get out. Go get him. Go work on your game. That's why you got mopped up. And then, let's start practicing. Listen. That's when I knew, man. This man. Is not losing no. to nobody. <laughs> yes, and I knew. Yes, and I knew right there. Austin Rivers gonna be in our league about two years. Yeah, he said that. You said that. I said he gonna be in our league about two he three years. He said that. Man, he a pro. He hated bro. losing. He wanted to fight. That's incredible. Then I almost slapped this ass horn game. Like, you calm down, boy. You boy. You remember that? <laughs> during the, <laughs> during the <laughs> one game, he said something. I said, and, I, and I caught myself, boy. You almost. He, got when he made it to the league, he got to the league. We got into. He said something real slick, and I almost raised up to slap him. And I, ca I caught myself like, man, I ain't finna get kicked out again, boy. I can, boy. Let me quit. And that is the complete collection of Kevin Garnett's greatest stories. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you guys could help me out by hitting that like button. It takes a long time to make these videos. Subscribe if you're new for NBA content. And obviously, hit that notification button so you can stay up to date so you don't miss a video. And comment down below which player you'd like me to make the next episode on. I am out. Peace.